So were you aware of the books when you got the role? Um, I wasn't aware of the books. Um, I was aware of it after I heard um, they were casting uh, Magnus and them. They were, uh, they were choosing an Asian character. And um, just by hearing that, um, you know, I got into the books, I got into the series. And, um, you know, I was just like every, you know, every fan out there. I enjoyed the books. I thought it was exciting. I thought it was you know, something that's very um, fantasizing. And, um, you know, the story is great. And the relationship with all the cast, all the, all the characters in the, in the series is uh, very, very twisting and very, you know, I thought it was, it was fun. And um, I definitely am a fan of the books. Well, especially that character. I mean, Magnus is, he's outrageous and he, he's amazing. So what, so what were your initial impressions of him when you were reading? My initial impression, um, I just thought Magnus was fun. You know, just um, this character is, isn't like any other character I've, I've tried before. And um, he's definitely out there. He's definitely a flamboyant, wild, party animal. And aside from all the makeup, all the, all the, you know, nail polish, all the hairspray, and I just think he's a fun character to play and to be even involved um, with this project. And, um, you know, I had a lot of fun, and hopefully I can, you know, explore Magnus as, um, you know, the sequel and all the movies are uh, going to come uh, in the shooting. So. Well, there is one particular kiss that's sort of uh, in supplemental material. Are we going to get to see it in the film? Um, yeah, definitely. Right. Um, it, you know, it won't be my first uh, male-to-male kiss on screen, but uh, it will be exciting for me to see and to perform and, you know, for all the fans to see. Because um, I've done male-to-male on-screen kiss before in, in Asia, um, back when I was in doing TV dramas in Taiwan. Um, that was very awkward for me, but gaining from that experience, I think I can do an even better job on, on, on this one. So, um, you know, um, I just can't wait to, uh, you know, to, to experience all of this. And, uh, and all, the, all the movies that are, that are going to be coming, uh, going to be shooting. And, you know, they're definitely the relationship that's going to develop with Alex, and hopefully everybody can enjoy that. Yeah, it's a really cool love story. I mean, because you've got, you've got the main two characters, but, yeah. but this, is, this is a really cool one that develops slowly over books. Mm-hmm. And I, I think it's very interesting because Magnus is just a, you know, he's a 800-year-old warlock. He's been through it all, he's seen it all, and he's been with women. He, he, he fell in love with all these people, but they all pass away, they all disappear in front of him, so he's like a very lonely character, and, and nobody really understands Magnus, and, uh, you know, to, to develop something with, with Alex, and, you know, as a male, you know, it's something new, and something um, exciting for him, so, um, you know, Magnus is a very complicated, complicated guy, and, um, you know, I, I just think he's, he's one of a kind. And uh, he's in all the series, which is great. Yeah. So talk a little bit about his look, because I've seen some of the pictures, and they're phenomenal. Mm-hmm. His look, um, it's definitely what I didn't sign up for. <laughs> uh, Were you surprised? I was just like, what have I gotten myself into? Um, <laughs> um, but it was really fun, um, you know, uh, spending the time um, to develop into Magnus and... Um, first of all, the style, the stylist and the makeup artist were terrific. Um, you can just tell by all the details they put on my face, um, all the glitter, all the nail polish, all the glitter in the nail polish, and <laughs> you know, just earrings and you know, eyeliners, everything put together. Um, the, the makeup artist said I looked pretty. <laughs> After it was done, he was like, "Damn, you look pretty." Um, <laughs> So I was, over, I don't know, I was overwhelmed, and I couldn't believe my eyes when I first time, well, when the first time I saw myself, I was like, wow, <laughs> um, you know. But it, it's really fun, and you know, just putting on all the costumes together. Um, um, I have two costumes. Um, I have the very amazing velvet blazer um, that had designs like that I've never seen before, and every time I move, the shading would shine, and, and it was just. It was just awesome, and uh, it was like a custom custom blazer for me, and uh, you know the dress shirt, and then of course the bottomless 
underwear. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, which I thought it was, it was quite cold. <laughs> that was the last description I expected to hear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was quite cold, and it was, it was not fun for me being out in that weather. Um, it was probably like zero to one degrees oh, God. in Toronto, and um, in front of, you know, just... You know, dozens, dozens of strangers. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> and um, you know, everybody's asking me. Oh, so how do you feel uh, down there? You, I just see your legs. You know, um, I don't see nothing else. I was like, um, yes, I have underwear on. Just the dress shirt is covering it. But you know, everybody says I have sexy legs, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, but you know, just by that experience, I mean, um, it was. It was something different, and I, I definitely enjoyed it. And uh, everybody was nice to me. They, you know, they got me blankets. They got me, you know, hot chocolates, tea, whatever they can find. Hot pockets, you know, to stick on my legs. Um, you know, but they did. They did give me tearaways at first. Oh. And then I was like, this is not gonna work. I'm not gonna tear it off in front of everybody every time I need to film. So you would have gotten me. a lot of tips. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, take. You know, no shooting, take it off. I was like, just give me a blanket, you know, I'm just gonna unwrap it every time I need to go work. So, I had fun, you know, and that was the most enjoying part for me. And, you know, hopefully um, you guys can enjoy it as well when, um, you know, when August 21st hits the theaters. So, everybody can enjoy Magnus's bottomless party scene. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you. That's quite the note to end on. Thank you. Thank you.